Oh, there's, I just thought of two more games that I think should be translated. One is Namco Cross Capcom, as it's correctly pronounced. Yes! Uh, yes! I've, I've heard of it. Yes, and uh, in case you'll recall, me and Metal Sonic actually uh, did, like, an RP of, like, the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, that is how much I love that game. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and I actually modded my PS2 just to play that game. <laughs> nice. And uh, but the other game that I thought of that should be uh, translated is uh, if any of you have seen the anime Soul Eater, um, there was a game made for the Wii that was like an, uh, a fighting game called it was Art Monotone Princess, and it was supposed to be really good. But since uh, the anime isn't going to be translated anytime soon, uh, they're probably not going to translate the game. Oh, another anime that I like to see uh, uh, dubbed is more of the Nintendo anime that have been really popping out recently, like the Animal Crossing one. Yeah. But if, if they were to translate that, I want them to translate it with a company that knows how to do translations, not for kids. <laughs> not for <'Cause> kids. <laughs> this morning, I was re- I was um, watching this for kids anime about this ball thing, <laughs> little balls, and then I I was like. Huh, one of them sounds like Jason Griffith, and then and then I saw another one that sounded like Eggman, <laughs> and then that sounded like Dan Green, and I'm like, these these voices, they don't fit! <laughs> what, what the hell? May I just say that I think that, um, I, I wish that Dan Green didn't work for four kids, I wish he worked for, like, uh, whatever company does the Tales games, because I would like to see him do, like, the voice for, uh, like... Kratos. I would like to see Dan Green voice Kratos. Hey, Cam Clark was good. <laughs> Cam Clark. Cam Clark was better as uh, Yuri Lowell, I think. Because <laughs> I really like Yuri Lowell, but I didn't really like Kratos as much. Mm. And what most people don't understand is, like, we don't hate the voice actors themselves. No. We hate the, the like the company that's dubbing these because they. They, they do tr- men- so many translation errors. Translation so errors easy. and heavy editing. Exactly. <laughs> and, and that's yeah, what we don't, yeah, exactly. And that's what we don't like about 4Kids. We don't like, we don't hate the actors themselves. Like, Jason Griffith. Like, like a lot of people hate Spack 3 for going on so many Jason Griffith rants, but it's more so because he hated how he portrayed Sonic. He didn't match Sonic's voice. That's why, like, he hates him so much. And I don't know why people, like, keep making fun of him. I think I might have misinformed, for, uh, like, a few seconds ago. Um, I just kind of remembered that uh, J- uh, Dan Green did do the voice for Leon in some Tales game. I think it might have been Tales of the World, but... Hmm. So he has done a voice for Tales of series, but uh, he... I think that was, like, a one-time thing. Hmm. Uh, and he didn't even fit Lydia, which was completely ridiculous. Okay, uh, as for me, as far as translating games to English, uh, you've already, uh, Toy, you already mentioned Namco uh, across Capcom. I totally agree with you, because <laughs> I did manage to see a Let's Play all the way through of, of Namco cross Capcom, and they are already doing one for Tatsunoko versus Capcom, so I'm happy about that. And uh, as far as any other games I could think of, uh, none at the moment, unless you mean an, an official translation of Mother 3, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got the fan. Yeah, we already got the fan one. That's good enough. <laughs> not to mention fan translations sometimes are a lot more accurate than official translations. Right. <laughs> I.e. anything done by four kids. <laughs> I would never want to see Case Closed done by four kids. <laughs> Oh, dude. It's, it's it's impossible, really, because every case is a death, and it's not like they're gonna say, "Yeah, um, he got knocked out or he got disappeared." They're just gonna keep doing that for everything. Like, um, so, and that's like the whole episode, <laughs> just that, that line, and then it's done. <laughs> or um, like, I had like, I think I I actually had like a nightmare once of like if four kids dubbed Code Geass. <laughs> And like, um, Lelouch was Dan Green, and all the girls had annoying high-pitched voices, and, um, uh, 
no no one died. They were just destroyed a little bit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of voice actors, are we ready for the next question? Yes, I think we are. All right. Uh, possible other voice actors for Sonic and the others, and I'm going to go last on this one. <laughs> All right, let's start. First? Yes, I would like to go first. All right, you go first. I would very much like to see um, Ryan Drummond return to the role of Sonic the Hedgehog. Obvious. <laughs> um, I would actually like to see uh, the four kids Eggman voice actor, whose name I can't remember for the life of me. Mike uh, uh, Mike Pollock. Mike Pollocker. I would like to see Mike Pollocker Reese Chain. Mike voice Pollock, actor. just Pollock. Sorry. Oh, Mike Pollock. Uh, I would actually like to see him uh, retain his role. As yes. Man, since he's actually pretty good. Yes, he is. I would also like to see um, Dan Green do, like, instead of Knuckles the Echidna, which he really doesn't fit, I'd like to see him do uh, maybe Shadow, maybe Metal Sonic, like a villain character. Like, mm. if they ever follow up on the Nazo plotline from the first opening, I would like to see him, like, do him. Uh, and then for... Uh, Knuckles the Echidna, I would actually like uh, going back to the Namco stuff, I would like to see Cam Clark do a voice for Knuckles the Echidna, since I can actually kind of picture that. Hmm. I never really thought of that. That's aw- that's awesome. <laughs> I'll have to try matching Knuckles with uh, one of Cam Clark's things someday. <laughs> no, like, uh, like take some Yuri Lowell voice clips and then like put them over like uh, Sonic Adventure uh, 2, since that was like the last good game. <laughs> well, I, I, have, oh, I have another mean of get, uh Finding a Cam Clark uh, voice for uh, to match up with Knuckles, but I'm not going to mention it, or otherwise I'm just going to go on a big rant about it. <laughs> actually, uh, you know what? I actually pretty amazing. Uh, this person I know, uh, they were they made this video called uh, like Kratos's hair problems, and they actually made it, like track down Cam Clark on like Facebook or something and get him to do the voice. Oh like, no. <laughs> And it was like, I was like, a, a skip dub or something, and it was like, Kratos' hair troubles, and it was, uh, they actually got Cam Clark to do the voice for that. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, yeah, two pro. Um, for me, aside from Ryan Drummond as the obvious Sonic, like you said, Toa, uh, I don't know, any, any character that, like, any voice that fits the character is fine for me. I like to see the original Shadow Return because he was actually pretty good. A better um, reason Griffin, anyway. I would actually like to see Kerbifer as Shadow. If you go to like uh, Newgrounds Audio Portal and uh, find like the version of Throw It All Away that Kerbifer sang, he did like some Shadow quotes and it was like really good. And <laughs> I would really like to see Kerbifer as Shadow. Actually, I think nice. I I think I heard Kerbifer saying that uh, on one on one thing on Wachow on the Psy Guy's website uh, Chow, that it's like a kick in the nuts. It's like a kick in the nuts! Yay! A <laughs> podcast pairing a podcast. What? I'm hilarious. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when they got uh, when they got uh, Silver's voice actor to actually say yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. I posted the YTMND of that on GUIC. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, uh getting back to Kerbifer, uh I think he said on one of the Wachows that um he was uh he was brought in uh to do like some Pokemon voices or something like that. I don't remember. Or I kind of remember that, but I'm I'm not um don't quote me on this. I kind of remember that. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know when he mentioned that or something like that, but uh, I don't hear him do anything yet in Pokemon. Yeah. So, <laughs> like I would know if Kerbifer did a thing on Pokemon because it might cause YouTube to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, his Ivysaur was dead on on <laughs> Brawl Taunts three. <laughs> <laughs> I also I like it. I also like him doing that Pikachu or whatever in that too. It's just so freaking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, I, I just had, like, this horrifying vision, uh, you know, Kerbifer's tail voice from Sonic Bastardized? Yes. <laughs> I had this god-awful vision of that being official for the rest of time. Oh, man. Oh, uh, that was 
Oh, oh my gosh, it's such a huge ass! <laughs>